Hey everyone, this is Simon from Android Spin. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video to show you Ice Cream Sandwich running on the Google Nexus One. It's been posted on XDA by user DR1337. Uh, it's actually taken from an Italian website. I'm not sure if he's related to it or not, but whoever it is, awesome job guys. I've created a thread on Android Spin forums where I've taken all the information I could find, translated it, done an update, posted the ROM, it's all there if you want to take a look. So you can see we're booted, the device is running Ice Cream Sandwich, we've got the Ice Cream Sandwich lock screen that I think you guys saw in the demo that Google gave. Some of you may have seen this already if you're running it on your devices. But I swipe across to unlock and there we are ice cream sandwich it's working it's booting it's running I do not have data connection there's no mobile networks there's no Wi-Fi they're still working on that but I just thought I'd power it up have a look around see what it's like and uh, see if it does everything they claim it's supposed to do so on the top we have Google search bar so you can instantly get straight into your search and in here you can select the categories or areas that you want to search through messaging your settings, calculator, email, browser, basically any of the applications I think that are uh, that are on the phone. We have the launcher takes you into your application list. I can't scroll through anything because I only have one page of applications in this demo that I loaded up. We have the widgets. So your widgets are now within your launcher, which uh, makes it much easier. It's you know, those that are familiar with Honeycomb, it's very similar to how Honeycomb works, but just much better. So I can scroll through the pages. You can see a little transition and animation effects as you scroll through the pages. I can take any of these widgets, drop them on the desktop. Oh, it's telling me there's no room. If I go back to the desktop, the clock's already on there, so you get the idea. Um, I can go into the applications, I can go into the dialer, but I don't have any contacts. You can see it's a really clean looking dialer. And you see like, the transition effects of the buttons, they kind of fade in and out as you press them. Uh, I could search for contacts as well, if I had any contacts on the phone. So what else can we do? I added a couple of widgets just onto the desktop, so you can see there we've got the bookmarks. Pretty cool. I can try and go into a bookmark. Obviously it won't load because I don't have any data connection. So this is the browser. Uh, you can go and view your tabs in your browser. You can add your favorites and bookmarks and history, saved pages, all the cool stuff. I can save this page as a bookmark. But, so the ROM is functional. I can go in, browse around. I don't have contacts if I did. Here would be my favorites and all groups. There's just my contacts. Here's my favorites. Here's the power control bar, just like we have in our current Android. I've got messaging. If I want to do messages to somebody, I can create a new one. The keyboard, okay, if I go in and type a word, let's say I mistyped, I don't know, let's say about, so I put a bot, hit the space bar, you get the red underline to tell you that the word is spelled incorrectly. If I hold down on the word, you get your selection boxes and you get your cut and paste, they're now icons across the top. I can hit replace, which should bring up a dictionary. I would have expected about to have been in the dictionary, but who knows what's in this ROM. It's certainly not there right now, but I could add this word to the dictionary if I wanted to. So that's basically it. We'll discard that. 
The ROM is running, it's booting on the Nexus One, they're working on the versions as we speak. Um, like I said, there's not a lot working on this ROM. The desktop and launcher on this is working, the lock screen, the interface in general, the touch screen you can see is working, I can play with widgets. Uh, files and folders are working, and of course all the buttons are working. I don't have any camera, Wi-Fi, or data connection, so I can't do anything else. It's certainly not a daily driver. It's a ROM you want to install if you'd just like to take a look at the ice cream sandwich, play around with it, you know, see what it's all about. Uh, here's all my system settings. See what it says in about. Nexus One, Android version 4.01. So Medroid, the development team that's put this together. There you go. Ice cream sandwich for you guys, running on the Nexus One. Thanks. Right now.